Ever wondered how to master ILT's writing task 1, especially when dealing with pie charts? Well, you're not alone. It's a common challenge for many, but fear not. We're here to help you navigate this essential task. In this video, we'll demystify the process, providing you with effective strategies and the right vocabulary to interpret and write about pie charts confidently. So, are you ready to enrich your ILT's writing skills? Stay tuned as we delve into this critical task that can significantly boost your IELTS score. Firstly, a clear understanding of what IELTS Writing Task 1 entails is essential. This task is an integral part of the IELTS exam, contributing to a significant portion of your overall score. Essentially, it requires you to describe, summarize, or explain the information in a graph, chart, or diagram, and one of the most common types you may encounter is the pie chart. The pie chart is a circular statistical graphic divided into slices to illustrate numerical proportions. In IELTS Writing Task 1, you'll need to interpret this chart, describe its key features, and make comparisons where relevant. It's not just about describing what you see, but also analyzing the information and reporting it effectively. Understanding how to correctly interpret and describe a pie chart is crucial to scoring well in this task. It's about clarity, precision, and the ability to convey complex information in easy-to-understand language. Now that we understand the task at hand, it's time to break it down into simple, manageable steps. Breaking down the process of IELTS writing task 1 into simple steps makes it less daunting. So let's dive right in and take it one step at a time, shall we? First up, understanding the question. This is the foundation of your answer. You need to be clear about what exactly the task requires you to do. Are you asked to compare, contrast, or describe the pie chart? Pay close attention to the instructions and the title of the chart. This initial understanding will guide your entire response. Next, planning your answer. This step is often overlooked, but it's crucial to producing a well-structured response. Identify the key points in the pie chart, such as the largest and smallest sectors. Think about how you can group similar information together. Create a mental map of your answer, starting from the introduction, then the overview, and finally the detailed paragraphs. The third step is writing your answer. Start with an introduction where you paraphrase the question, then write an overview that presents the main trends or features of the pie chart. After that, dive into the details. Use specific data, compare and contrast different sectors, and make sure to use a variety of sentence structures and vocabulary. Remember, Coherence, cohesion, lexical resource, and grammatical range and accuracy are all assessed in your answer. Lastly, reviewing your work. This is your safety net. Check for any spelling or grammar mistakes. Make sure your sentences flow smoothly and your ideas are logically connected. Ensure you've covered all requirements of the task and your answer is complete. With these steps in mind, pie charts will no longer be a cause for concern in your ILTS writing task 1. You're not just writing an answer, you're crafting a response. And with practice, you'll be able to do it with confidence and ease. Remember, every great journey starts with a single step and you've just taken four. So take a deep breath, pick up that pen, and let your journey to mastering ELTS writing task one begin. The right vocabulary can make a significant difference in your ELTS writing task one score. So let's dive right into the essential lexicon you need to describe pie charts effectively. First up, we have some crucial terms to express proportions. Majority and minority are your go-to words when a section of the pie chart represents more than half or less than half, respectively. A significant proportion or a small proportion can also be used to describe large or small sections of the pie. When the pie chart sections are similar in size, you can use terms like roughly equal, approximately the same, or almost identical. For instance, you might say, the majority of the budget was allocated to marketing, while research and development and infrastructure had roughly equal shares. Next, let's talk about changes. Pie charts often compare data over time, so you'll need to describe how proportions have changed. Increase and decrease are your basic words here, but you can also use rise and fall or grow and diminish. If a proportion remains the same, say it remains stable or stays constant. For more dramatic changes, use sharp, significant or dramatic before increase or decrease. For smaller changes, slight, modest or minor can be used. For instance, there was a sharp increase in the proportion of funds allocated to marketing, while the share for infrastructure saw a slight decrease. Finally, when comparing proportions, use compared to or in comparison with. For example, 
the funds allocated to marketing were significantly higher compared to those for infrastructure. Remember, variety in vocabulary not only demonstrates your language skills but also makes your writing more engaging, so don't shy away from using synonyms and varying your sentence structures. Armed with this vocabulary, you are ready to tackle any pie chart that comes your way in the ELTS Writing Task 1. To summarize, Mastering ELTS Writing Task 1, particularly with pie charts, is not as daunting as it may seem. Let's take a quick moment to revisit the key takeaways from our discussion today. We started off with understanding the basics of ELTS writing. Task 1. It's about writing a summary of at least 150 words based on a visual representation of data. This could be a line graph, a bar chart, a pie chart, or a table. Then we moved on to the four-step process for tackling this task. Step 1. You're going to need to analyze the pie chart carefully. Step 2. Plan your answer by identifying the major trends or changes. Step 3. Write a clear and concise introduction and overview. And finally, step 4. Describe the details accurately using appropriate vocabulary. Speaking of vocabulary, we took a deep dive into the essential words and phrases you'll need when describing pie charts. We looked at how to talk about percentages, proportions, comparisons, and changes over time. It's all about being precise and accurate with your language. And let's not forget about the most important aspect of this, practice. The more you practice, the more comfortable you'll get with the task and the better you'll perform on the big day. So, keep practicing, keep improving, and don't be afraid to make mistakes along the way. Remember, consistent practice is key to acing the ELTS writing task 1. Good luck on your ELTS journey.